<coughs> Doing some more work on the TT building today. Taking apart 3.2 to get the front and rear subframes down out so I can get them stripped down, bushed out, set off to get powder coated. So the new ones come, fit and replace. Put them on the Merlin. So, there we go. Here we go. Here's my donor. The, you've seen I've, uh, for those who know, I've had this for quite a while now. I originally was going to, this is a 3.2 if you didn't know, I was going to get this on the road, have both my Merlin and this. Uh, and in the end, it needed a, this needed a bit of work. Same pretty much like everything else that the Merlin needed. I decided that it really isn't worth the, the thousands extra it would cost me to keep both on the road and get them both done up to pretty much the same spec. So I thought this one is uh, succumbing. It's <clears throat> the main reason why I got this, especially the price I got it from, is it had some damage to this rear quarter here. It's had an incident with a bollard, which is not too bad. Pulled all this out, smoothed it all off. Would have been fine, but in the end it's just no so anyway it's uh, in the bit behind uh, well spare space up on the stands I've got to take off well calibers coming off obviously then I can just set everything off the front disconnect all the engine all the mounts from it be able to just drop the front off disconnect the rack etc 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 and for the rear the same these are pretty much off I've got to uh, well get another container to better bleed the calipers I say bleed to completely drain all the fluid out but I say just look at the state of some of these bolts in here absolutely disgusting so this thing has never seen love and I'm not looking forward to doing my Merlin doing the exact same thing again because yeah yeah all absolutely disgusting UK Roads does not do any favours to a uh, 14 year old car but oh uh, well so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get this trailer on bounce the bolts that I've here so I've pre-sprayed the WD-40 just to, to hopefully soften them up a little bit and uh, there should be a look at the state of that i got to finish on and build in my uh, little roof on here at some point but that's for a future video I will document that as it goes along pretty much building this space into another garage but as of now, get this thing stripped down. Here we have it being the day after. I've got a fair bit stripped down, taken off. Um, just some bits now that I can't really do by myself. Just either I ain't got enough hands, pretty much. That's what it boils down to. So I waited to have some friends around to get it off. So what I'll basically, obviously, bump her off there. Um, the rear trailer arm bushes are off. I've just... The, Calipers are off at the front, calipers off at the rear, all the brake lines are disconnected, handbrake cables are out, or every cable from the Haldex module, all that's taken out. Um, all I'm stuck on pretty much now is, well, I've got one subframe bolt out, but there's these two front ones, which I need a, it's a big extension and I can't quite get the bar on it. At the same time, I'm holding it straight and I'm able to get the leverage to push it around. So, I to, so that's what I'm waiting for. And the other side, even the back one, it's just not going at all so oh well it doesn't need to come off straight away the three but two of these brace bars going across um that was an utter nightmare to be able to get off because it's a uh, don't know what it's supposed to be but i not to t50 and this side managed to crack it off this side came out fine the other side it just rounded a bit if i can just see where it is uh, just wrecked it so it's uh and at the end i just got the drill out and uh just drilled it out so the, the 225 don't have the bars i don't even know if they've got where they mount to stocks so i need to have a look but if not they're just coming out it's not really a big issue it's just getting the what they bolt up to there but uh walking around uh i've got the, the well try to drop the fronts down just got it because I've took these front subframe that's been off before so it should be quite easy I don't think I did what made it tight so I've just I've dropped this shaft out here it's nice and easy enough to get to um, I need to drop the where well, the joint comes down for the steering column onto the rack I need to get inside the car it's just I think it's a 13 just take that out that should be 5 seconds 
um, and just getting off the drive shaft this side, which is a bit too much of a ball ache to go from underneath. So what I'm doing, it's just going from the top and I could get to it uh, right down here one at a time. I'm just taking this little guard off here. So I just, I just taken off, I just want to ratchet there. Take this off and actually make my life easier to be able to get in there and get it all off. So that's what I'm going to get now and I'll get back to you afterwards. Basically in my haste, what I forgot to do was uh, disconnect steering. So uh, <laughs> I yeah, even forgot to unbolt the uh, rack from the subframe. So, oh well, shit happens. Uh, so what instead, these are obviously no good 20 mm anyway. Set of in and out of back ends of nothing. So I just literally looked across, I lopped it across, just slightly scored there, same on the other side, but that's nothing at the end of the day, it's just going to get cleaned up anyway, so no real issue. So fingers crossed now, if I, uh, oops. <coughs> there she goes, on the floor. So I'll try and grab that out as best as I can by myself, stick it to the side, and see what I'm left with to sort out. Everything is all pretty much stripped down and off the car now. I've got a couple of little bits left to do. Uh, I've sent Laura out to Halford to give me a shopping list some bits. I need some 80mm spanner to get the ball joints off, 70mm hex to be able to get the end of the drive shafts, and I need a 30mm 12 point socket for the rears. As soon as that off, the drive shafts can come out, take these guards off, strip it down, I need to buy or borrow a better 6.18 mil because mine's only a crappy old 12 point to be able to get this off because there's too much play in this whole mount when trying to undo it and it's just started to round and I can't get anything on it. So get that done, get that off, and everything else should be nice. I've got the props to take off the car, a uh, couple of the little bits and pieces. I need to get find out where my other rear cradle is for the 225 because being a V6, it's got these brace bars bolted to the chassis which the 225 shell doesn't have as soon as all that's done um so i get it off get it blasted powder coated get my new bushes pressed it i got to take bush that press the new bushes in which i've got i take make another video of that when it's come to do it all um cause i've spent that utter fortune on super pro bushes and the whole kit for the whole car so should be interesting um be nice when it's all done clean this all up out of the way clear the floor up i've got a new project coming here so more on that when it's getting it done so that's the end of the first episode now of my TT build. Concludes stripping down, or well, everything's stripped down. And you can see, all, there it all is. All looking uh, very dirty, dusty, rusty. Waiting to get all the bearings pushed out and I can take off to get the powder coaters. And hopefully, should be looking awesome with the new bearings pushed in. So that's mentioned, all the pro stuff. And those you can all can sort of uh, see something for a new video future out of the way not for the purple merlin though for something different because that's as i mentioned it's having the vr6 3.2 turbo so um that's that and take to the next one